Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 13 power n equals 13. Solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So we start by having this negative 13 as negative 1 times 13. So we have negative 1 times 13 power n equals 13. Now, also, if you have a b raised to power c equals a power c times b power c. Applying that here, we have negative 1 power n times 13 power n equals 13. So, we consider this other identity, e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0. We take 1 over here e power i times pi equals negative 1. So we apply that here, meaning we are going to replace this negative 1 here with e power i times pi. f e power i times pi raised to the power of n times 13 power n equals 13. Right now, if you have e power n raised to the power of n, equals a power n times n. We apply that here. So we simply have e power i times pi times n times 13 power n equals 13. Now we can apply natural log. We take the natural log of e power i times pi times n times 13 power n equals natural log of 13. Now, let's apply this logarithm property. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So, applying the natural log property, we have natural log of e power i times pi times n plus natural log of 13 power n equals natural log of 13. Now, if you also have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So, we are simply going to have i times pi times n, that's natural log of e, plus n times natural log of 13, equals natural log of 13. Now, natural log of e here is 1, so this is 1. So we have i times pi times n, plus n times natural log of 13, equals natural log of 13. So what we can do is to factor out n. We have it here and here. So we factor that out. We have n times this device n, i pi plus this device n, we have natural log of 13 equals natural log of 13. We can isolate n. We divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 13. We divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 13. So, please cancel this. We simply have n equals natural log of 13 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 13. So this is our solution based on this method. Now let's consider another method of solving this exponential problem. So we have negative 13 power n equals 13. Now, what we are going to do is we simply replace this also with negative 1 times 13 power n equals 13. Now, to recall this identity, if you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. If I take this squares, this cancel this, so I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So that means I'm going to replace this with i power 2. 
I have i power 2 times 13. So n equals 13. So what we can do now is to apply natural log of natural log of i power 2 times 13 power n equals natural log of 13. Now remember, if you have log a power p, this equals p log a. So the n comes behind the natural log. So what we are going to have will be n times natural log of i power 2 times 13 equals natural log of 13. So let's apply this other property again. If you have log of a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So applying that property here, that means i power 2, this is my a, this is my b. So we have n times natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 13. equals natural log of 13. Now, remember again, if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So we have two here. That will come behind the natural log. We have n times two times natural log of i plus natural log of 13 equals natural log of 13. So we need to isolate n. We divide this by two times natural log of i plus natural log of thirteen. This is divided by two times natural log of i plus natural log of thirteen. So this cancel this. We simply have n equals natural log of thirteen divided by two times natural log of i plus natural log of that's it. So this also becomes our answer here. Now we have this answer, also we have this answer. They are both correct. What you should observe is that here, we have two times natural log of i, and which is exactly the same thing as what we have here, which is i times pi. So this and this are the same. That means this answer and this particular answer here are all the same. And this is how you can solve this exponential problem step by step, depending on the method that you want to use. So that is it guys. Thank you and goodbye.